What's up, guys? I'm John, and we're in St. Augustine, Florida, America's oldest city. A place with a little bit of everything. From colonial history to world-class food, art, and culture, let's spend the perfect 48 hours in St. Augustine. Founded in 1565 by the Spanish, this gem off the Atlantic is the perfect spot for a getaway, and you're about to find out why. Location is so important when picking a hotel, and you can't get much closer to the action than the St. George Inn located at the gateway to the city. Location, location, location. Situated just steps from the old city gates, the St. George Inn's rooms are charming, with plenty of space to relax, or better yet, step out onto your balcony and enjoy an unobstructed view of the Castillo de San Marcos. Fuel up every morning of your trip with their tasty breakfast spread. We've got a lot to cover day one. We're starting our first morning touring two historic gems that were former hotels courtesy of Henry Flagler. And we're gonna be starting at his namesake, Flagler College. Henry Flagler, a key figure in developing Florida's Atlantic coast in the late 19th century, left a lasting impact on St. Augustine. You need to tour Flagler College, a small four-year school that was once the Ponce de Leon Hotel. A local student will show you the ropes. It must be pretty cool going to college in a former luxury hotel that feels like an art exhibit. How anyone can study in this beautiful courtyard is beyond me. Our guide agreed. You won't catch me studying here. <laughs> After you tour one of the most elegant campuses you'll ever see, head across the street to the Leitner Museum, which was the former Alcazar Hotel. Step back in time with some quirky exhibits. You can even hear old style music if you're lucky. Work up an appetite because we're about to have one memorable lunch. Head down Aviles, America's oldest street, to find La Jarencia, a Cuban-American joint with some serious flavor. The cute decor blends perfectly with the tasty bites. I had the best ropa vieja since I was in Havana, and Team Adriana loved her steak. Save some room for dessert because right next door is Peace Pie, a local favorite. A family business, Dad came up with a crazy idea to put a layer of pie filling in an ice cream sandwich. The result? Absolutely delicious. Take a short break after your food coma because we've got some surprises this afternoon. We're standing in front of the most famous landmark in St. Augustine, the Castillo de San Marcos. At different times under Spanish, British, and American rule, this is a national monument and we're about to take you inside. Construction began on this fort in 1627 by the Spanish. This is the oldest masonry fort in the continental United States. Never captured in battle, this landmark of St. Augustine is majestic from the inside and out. Roam the interior, the courtyard, and the walls above, and try to imagine being a Spanish soldier for a day. If you're a history buff, there's no better place to visit in town. There's no nicer way to spend a sunset in St. Augustine than at one of the most beautiful lighthouses in the state of Florida. Normally walking up 219 steps wouldn't appeal to me, but there was something in the air that night, and I have to let you guys in on a secret. St. Augustine is one of the best spots in America to propose, and the lighthouse is one of the best places to do so. So I set up Team Adriana for a pose, and well, she never saw it coming. Hey, turn. Come here. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? You're so stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she said yes. Okay, that's good. Oh my that's god. The import, that's the important. That's the important part. It fits. Oh my god. <laughs> If you're interested in proposing up there, email the staff, they'll even take photos for you free of charge. But if you're already married or single, the views aren't too shabby either. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy I had my glasses, my sunglasses. So you didn't see me crying. <laughs> 
For your first dinner, you need to try a real powerhouse in town, and Michael's Tasting Room is just the answer. This romantic spot has an extensive wine list. My New York strip steak tasted as good as it looked, and Team Adriana loved her steak frites. This is the perfect place to celebrate life, or in our case, an engagement. During the holiday season, the Night of Lights turns St. Augustine into one of the most charming cities in America. Don these cheesy 3D glasses if you dare and get zipped around the city by trolley as you marvel at how much this place really shines. From buildings to parks and even the Leitner Museum, everybody is in on the act. If you want even more flexibility, just go explore by foot. There's really no right way to appreciate this amazing light display. Legend states that conquistador Juan Ponce de Leon was looking for the lost fountain of youth. This park commemorates that legend and is an extremely unique place to visit when you come to Florida. While the Fountain of Youth may or may not be legend, we had to find out for our scientific purposes if this thing actually worked. My back feels a little bit better actually. But this park is more than just the Fountain of Youth. Learn about early Florida history. See how the Native Americans lived. Find exotic birds roaming about. Even watch someone fire off an old rifle and get a feel for the Spanish influence in the area. You may even leave as impressed as I was. And make sure to say hi to Juan Ponce de Leon before you leave. For our second morning activity, hop on the Victory 3 docked at the marina and get another vantage point of St. Augustine and the surrounding coast by boat. This 90 minute ride is at a slow pace and really allows you to soak in all of the beautiful atmosphere. I hope you came hungry for lunch because you're doing a food tour with the tasting tours and the corks and forks version is gonna live up to its name. Chef Damien is going to explain the most important thing. Uh, my goal is the, the more wine we get, the better, right? Damien, a native of St. Augustine, was the perfect guide as he blended his knowledge of local history with an ability to take us to the right places in town to eat and drink. From juicy meatloaf at the Old City House Inn to eating escargot in the former pool of the Alcazar Hotel, he's gonna keep you on your toes. You'll drink plenty of good wine and even make some new friends. Just make sure to save some room for dessert. Trust me. This afternoon, we've driven down to Marine Land Dolphin Adventure, and their mission is the preservation and conservation of marine life. They also are the world's first oceanarium. They've got cinema history here. You're gonna learn a lot. Marine World is an oceanic fan's dream come true. Come meet some of their world-famous dolphins who receive the best care from the on-site help. You can get up close and personal with some of them under the watchful eye of the staff. This is also the filming site of many old movies that needed underwater settings, and even the current movie, Bernie the Dolphin, played by one of the dolphins who lives here. But there's so many good things going on in Marine World, from saving an injured turtle, to scientific studies of sharks. Any trip here will include a guided tour. Make sure you enjoy the downstairs room filled with schools of fish and other underwater creatures. This nonprofit is a must visit if you come to St. Augustine. You're right by the coast and for your last dinner, you're craving some fresh seafood. Catch 27 is definitely your spot. Start off with the perfect cocktails. St. Augustine is well known for its gin, so be sure to order a fennel word. From deviled eggs as an appetizer to tasty shrimp and salmon, you can't go wrong with any of your choices here. There you have it, the perfect 48 hours in St. Augustine, Florida, America's oldest city. The entire itinerary is linked down below in the description, so give it a look. Make sure to tell me in the comments what you thought about this video and if you'd visit St. Augustine. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel for more travel adventures from around the world. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.